Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and welcome back to yet another episode of our Minecraft Collect the Mob series. Hope you guys are excited for today, as am I. And guys, today, um, we have a little bit of an issue. So in the last episode, before we ended the episode, we actually opened up another portal, which was the probably the biggest mistake. But we have to do it at some point. And uh, I captured a zombie pig, collected a zombie pig man. <laughs> uh, and as you guys can see, there is no more zombie pig man in here. Uh, basically, I did not realize that zombie pig man can actually despawn. I just didn't really think of it. Um, it makes sense, I know. It's just a very, it's a, it's a very dumb move on my part, and I apologize. So, that's going to be part of today's episode. But you guys will notice we have 36 levels, right? We've been talking about enchanting for a very long time, and we haven't done it. But, today guys, I am pleased to report that we have a level 30 enchanting table. Let's go. So, uh, I am super excited to do some enchanting today. Uh, but for today's tasks... First of all, uh, we are going to be working on making an axe weapon. Basically, I want to limit the number of items I have here on my hotbar. Um, so making an axe that is also a weapon and a tool will save us an inventory slot so we can just kind of carry around uh, just like our pickaxe, our axe, and our bow. Um, and hopefully that will kind of uh, free up some hot bar space because I've always wanted to do that just have like a multi-tool weapon uh, so we're gonna be working on that today uh, also we're going to recollect a zombie pigman uh, that is number one um, then we're going to enchant a diamond pickaxe so I want to try to get efficiency for our breaking three on diamond pickaxe and then I want to see if we have the ability to get some boots as well so we have like the projectile protection boots which I guess, yeah, we did kind of trade for, so we did waste some diamonds there, but uh, I want to see if maybe I can enchant a book or something with Feather Falling, put them on the diamond boots, and, uh, and and go that direction. So that is the overall plan. I might try to collect some more mobs. Uh, off camera, there was a uh, wandering trader, so we got some leads, and uh, we can now lead some uh, more passive mobs into uh, our area, which will be nice. Um, so that's a, a major, major plus. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and start enchanting. Um, I need to get some lapis and a few books wouldn't hurt. And then I need to grab, I'm going to go ahead and make a fresh uh, iron picket or iron axe for this. Um, I want that efficiency for um, enchant on this. Efficiency for unbreaking would be preferred. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if we're going to get that enchant. Uh, silk touch. No thank you. Uh, so, alright, then we have to default to, I guess, a book. Knock back to, oh, these enchantments are not good. Not good at all. Um, let's see here. Can I... Let's take a look at some diamond boots. Let's snag... Uh, some diamonds because I do want the feather falling just so I don't die all the time um, when I fall. So let's check to see if we can get that feather falling protection for. Uh, unlikely that we will get the. that we will end up getting the enchant that we want out of that. Temptations are real. <laughs> um, and I don't want to waste a level on doing a, just a level one enchant if I don't have to. Uh, why, might as well. Let's just enchant a, uh, a stone shovel efficiency one. Reset the enchants. Okay, so let's take a look. Unbreaking three, potentially feather falling we could get from that. Uh, let's see. Efficiency four. Yes. So I want the efficiency four. Ooh. Efficiency four, fortune three. Interesting. And not. Oh, we should have done that with the pickaxe. No, that would have been an amazing enchant for the pickaxe. Ah, oh, no. You guys can't blame me for that one. No, you can't blame me for this. I didn't know. Uh, okay, so that was a little disappointing. Um, it's fine. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. No one's asking. I'm fine. Uh, there's our, our goof for the day, if you will. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and make a time pickaxe just because I want to make sure I get that enchant as well. Um, so, efficiency three, no thank you. Protection three, eh, what does the book look like? Quick charge. Is quick charge for. What is quick charge for? Is that for the um, crossbow? Alright, so Google did confirm that quick charge is for the crossbow. I'm going to go ahead and go with it. That's three enchantment levels. I will be short by a little bit on my enchants to try to do another in, to try to do another enchant for this. Um, I think so because I do want to build a good crossbow. So let's just do the quick charge, and then let's go ahead and try and snag a few levels here. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see, do we want to kill some mobs? Let's just go kill some mobs here real quick. And uh, try to get that in that level 30 back. Alright guys, so we've got ourselves 30 levels now. And let's see, luck of the sea, no thank you. Um, I kind of, I want to try to get a sharpness book. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to go with the efficiency 4. Uh, and it's just efficiency 4. Darn. <laughs> Do I have, oh I know what I have. I remember now, I did some fishing off camera, I know. I should have remembered this before. Uh, where are they? Um, oh, here they, there they are. Okay, so I do have Sharpness 3. Yeah, that's the book I have. So I have a Sharpness 3 book. Uh, so we're going to put that on the axe. Do I have Unbreaking? Is it the other one here? No, I don't have any Unbreaking. So we'll have to work on trying to get some Unbreaking for our, uh, for our pickaxe. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, very unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to do some combining. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these diamond boots away. We're going to try to get that um, feather falling on a later date, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and put uh, efficiency four, fortune three, <laughs> sharpness three. Such a depressing fortune three. <laughs> um, and what does it cost me to name it? A little extra. Um, what do we call it? Let's call it what? Um, I, I need to call it like something like it should have been a pickaxe but I need to shorten that should have been a pickaxe does that all fit in there yeah should have been a pickaxe <laughs> alright and uh, what does it cost me to combine these Fortune 1, efficiency 4. I mean, just for the fortune's sake. Um, maybe we combine those. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm just going to waste all my levels at this point. Uh, Alright, so we do. We no longer need the iron sword, which is good. Uh, there's no other, other combining that I, I really need to do right now, so let's clean up our inventory ever so slightly. Uh, put a few things away. No longer need the axe, no longer need the sword. Move some things into the proper slots. And uh, let's go ahead and snag a chest. Go ahead and make that real quick. And I'm going to snag a chest for upstairs here. So I have my lapis at the ready. And I'll put it right there. Lapis. There we go. And so now we've kind of done some things. So we made our axe weapon. And now we need to... We did enchant a diamond pickaxe. We're not going to do the boots. But we now we need to recollect a zombie pigman. So let's go ahead and head over into the nether. Alright guys, so we're here in the nether, and I want to test, I don't think this is possible, but I wanted to just test really quickly to see if we could use a lead on a zombie pigman. I doubt we actually can, but yeah, we can't. Okay, not going to work. So I do have uh, kind of a plan B, and I do have to go back into the overworld to do this, but I'm thinking about using rails and minecarts to uh, transport hostile mobs. Uh, a little bit easier. It'll be a little more difficult in the long run, but I think it'll be worth it. So let's, uh, for the sake of your ears until I figure out the volume, uh, I'm going to cut here and I'll be back in the overworld. All right, guys, so we're going to be making some rails here very quickly. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I think it's, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to make like 32 rails. I think that should be enough. And the um, reason I'm going to do this is because I want to have um, kind of this 
I don't know if you guys have ever read about uh, how, I believe it was, was it the pyramids? How the pyramids were built, where um, the Egyptians would put down like logs uh, below like heavy stones to move them. That's kind of the same thing, where it's like, we're going to have a minecart and some rails, and just putting down rails as we go, and, uh, and then we'll have the zombie pigmen inside, like kind of on the rails, if you will. So, yeah, give me one second here to go through the portal again. All right, guys, so here's how we're going to do it. We're just going to set down a few rails, put down our minecart, and capture a zombie pigman. And I think I can just kind of push him down the ledge here since he's up uh, in the appropriate place that I need him to be. So let's go ahead and just kind of move him along here. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I think it counted kind of as like this weird uh, fall damage, I guess. Okay, I think I have to break the minecart. Go through the portal. There we go. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna try to give this zombie pigment to walk out with a without interacting with the portal because it's gonna be really loud. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now I need to snag a name tag real quick before he walks too far away. Uh, name tag, there we go. And let's go ahead, that's a furnace. Uh, that's another rack, that's a name tag, there we go. So zombie, pigman, there we go. And let's go ahead and name him, perfect. And so now I'm going to uh, try to just snag him here with the boat, I think that'll work out. Uh, nope. Never mind, it's not gonna work out. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh. Come here. I can't place it on snow. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, can you... Yeah, no. Can you, uh... <laughs> can you not right now? <laughs> there we go, perfect. Alright, and so we're just gonna... Just gonna do this, guys. Just gonna <laughs> transport my zombie pigmen just like this, and I can't go upstairs, but I can go this way. <laughs> This seems like the most effective way to do this, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get our zombie pigman into this collection chamber. Perfect, ow. Again with that glitch, <laughs> such a weird glitch. Um, and so let's go ahead and seal these things up. And can I reach that? Whoops, I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> Uh, can I get my boat back? And it's a boat. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, we, we will just make a new boat. So, yeah, we got our zombie pigmen done. And, uh, guys, we're pretty much done with the episode, like, all we wanted to do. But, I'm not... Come on. Like, I'm not going to end the episode there. Okay? Relax. But, I want to actually do some nether exploring. Because I want to find, first of all, a village... And uh, I forgot about this portal, <laughs> how loud it is. I want to find a village, and I saw a magma cube in there. Probably despawned by now, but we'll see. So give me one second. Alright guys, so the magma cube is still here, and I'm going to try to catch it in a minecart. Um, so let's set up here just a little bit. We're going to push a minecart into him. Okay, jump one more time. Go. Ow. That was my armor. <laughs> that was my helmet. Okay, back up a little. It's going to be a little more challenging. I think I can get him in a minecart. He keeps jumping over it. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Okay, so I need to actually run. A... Can I even... I don't know if I can get that minecart now. Without will he do damage to me? Oh yes, he will. Okay. This might be a little more challenging than I thought it would be. Uh, what about like a shield? Like if I that didn't work at all. <laughs> I think I just trapped him. Um, I don't know how to move him from here, though. I 
I wonder if he's if he's in a minecart, will that keep him from despawning? I'm kind of interested in that. If I just like charge into him. Okay, nope, that's not going to work either. I think uh, I'm forced to do the the inevitable. I almost shot a zombie pigman. Okay. Now we got the slightly there we go. Okay, the magma cream's in that one. So let's go ahead and get rid of you for a second. Oh, these guys hurt. I forgot. Okay, so I think we, we're going to try to solve this. I keep breaking rails when I do that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try and get, there we go, a rail line running. I just need to get him somewhere down here um dirt and straight in okay so we're gonna try to get this magma cream into go can i get him to like push it himself okay no he's getting he's he's slowly getting there ever so slowly there we go momentum that's what we needed can I break the minecart now without breaking him probably should have put a cactus here at the end yep uh, I can't break this minecart <laughs> Um, and I'm doing significant damage to my armor by doing this. Just trying to get the hitbox. Okay, they went into the overworld. That's fine. The mag the little magma creams are fine. Okay, that's yeah, we're we're good. Okay, so we got the magma creams. I just need one, so let's just have these guys uh, hop around for a little bit, um, close enough to my area that they'll be fine. And I really just want one, to be honest. It would be kind of cool to have a bunch, but uh, I do not have the name tags to name them all. So let's just bring them all this way. Path to me. Do I have glass? I need more glass. There we go. Follow me. All of you. Just follow me. This is going to be a slow process, but it'll be worth it. Can I put a lead on these guys? Nope, can't put a lead on it. I guess it's only passive mobs that you can put leads on. Which makes sense, but makes it a little more challenging at times. Oh boy, I forgot about these guys. Not right now. Oh, those guys are actually scary. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to sleep. There we go. And that's what a good bow will do. <laughs> Alright, so let's get our magma cream into this area. Come on. Are you really going to go all the way around? Come on. This way. And there we go. Perfect. You're doing well. Nope, that's not the way. It's like he knows what's happening. <laughs> it's like, I don't really want to, but... <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and name him Magma Cream. Alright, dodge and weave. Perfect. Magma Cream. Got him. Perfect. Hello, friend. Alright, so let's get rid of these other guys before they do something I don't want them to do. Uh, there you are. Perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and sleep here real quick so I don't get these night wraiths. That's, a, that's what they're called, right? I don't remember what they're called. Night, night wraiths? Sure, we're going to call them that. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and sleep here real quick. 
Alright guys, so we're back here in the nether because I want to do some nether exploring. Um, I want to find, first of all, we can also get some levels here with the nether quartz, but I also want to try to find myself uh, a nether fortress. So if we can find a nether fortress, then we can get some of the uh, hostile mobs that are there as well for our collection chambers, uh, which would be really cool because, uh, to be honest, you know, I've been kind of thinking about the series right now, and uh, it seems like we're kind of progressing a little bit slower than I'd like to. You know, we're, we're collecting mobs, but not quite enough per episode. So I'd like to start doing more. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, mine a little bit of nether quartz. Ow. Um, let's break up here real quick. Um, I'm going to mine some nether quartz, uh, as well as we're going to go hunting for a nether fortress. Uh, I figured that would be a fun thing to do this episode and uh, keep you guys entertained. So yeah. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do some exploring here. Oh man, guys, we have found one. And, uh, it's quite a distance away from, uh, where we end up, uh, where our portal is. So that's going to be a little bit challenging with, uh, okay, how does this get in here? Um, it's going to be a little bit challenging with the whole transporting mobs and so forth change the texture of the nether bricks because they look significantly better than they uh, used to <laughs> all right and there's our wither oh there's two withers ow all okay <laughs> surprise wither <laughs> not exactly i could have died right there to be honest um did not think of that about that there is a blaze spawner over there i want to try to avoid tripping it if i can um because i don't really i am not set up to ha to get a blaze yet um i need some potions uh so i guess probably a blaze would be a wise investment to try to kill one at least but i don't want to spawn one in oh nope that was a mistake trying to cap off this lava <laughs> could be dangerous could be fun. Alright, just get the, the lava <laughs> contained. There we go, perfect. Alright, so let's head over this direction. Zombie Pigman. I'm mainly just looking for, um, for like chests and, and things like that, and three wither skeletons, four wither skeletons. Not a single one of you is going to drop a wither skull. <laughs> right? Yeah, no wither skulls. Alright, goes down one more. Also, some nether wart would be cool to grab. This nether fortress goes on for a while, though. Hello. There we go. There we go. Blaze rod. Perfect. I needed one. Take you. Okay, um, I've not seen many chests, though. Oh, that's a blaze spawner. Just gonna snag blaze rods from this before more spawn. <coughs> I'm looking for the chests. <laughs> I would like some nice loot. That would be, uh, that would be ideal. You know, some nice, uh, loot from the nether fortress. I hear a blaze. I don't know where it is. Ooh, that could have been bad. <laughs> I heard him, but uh, I was like, run. Just immediately run. Oh, blaze. Okay, this is the spawner. Ow. Let's go ahead and put that out. Again, looking for chests. There we go. First chest. Check if the coast is clear. I think so, for the most part. Ooh, diamonds. There we go. Perfect. And uh, I'll take the gold stuff just to smelt it down. 
Uh, next chest, okay, nothing there. Gold horse armor, take it, obsidian, not, I, I can't complain really. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get our shovel out for a second. Break some of the nether warts so we can start growing. Low lag. Not sure why we're lagging right now. Um, I don't need bones. Oh, I think I know why we're lagging a little bit. I turned up my chunks because uh, <laughs> I wanted to uh, be able to see a, a fortress. So turn those down. Okay. Um, I kind of want to stay in down here for a little bit because I think this is where I'll find most loot. Yes, there we go. Uh, nice. I'll take the iron as well. Um, let's see. What do I want to get? I guess the gold sword I don't really need. And the gold chest plate, not a big deal. Throw those things away. Okay, um, oh, it's getting tough. I have very little space. Okay, <laughs> freaked me out a little. I'm afraid of dying. I don't want to die. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and drop our coal. And mm, phantom membrane, I guess. I don't really need it for anything. Okay, it looks like it's the end there. So let's head back this way. chest. Uh, some more gold. Nothing too special there. Okay. Just checking for Cure Wither. Hey, zombie pigman, you're making this difficult. Skeleton, really? Way out of your element, my friend. Way out of your element. <laughs> Okay, get rid of those guys. I am looking for more chests. Alright guys, so I think for the most part... Oh, hello. Can I get the return sender here real quick? Oh, ow. With a skeleton. my ears not not my player <laughs> okay so yeah like i was saying before uh for the most part i think we've explored this uh this nether fortress it is here we know where we can get uh some of the remaining nether mobs that i need to get um so like i do need to eventually uh capture or collect i'll get it right someday i need to collect uh you know, a ghast, but for the most part, then it's just a blaze and a wither, and then I think pretty much for the, the nether, we're done. So, um, I'm going to see you guys back at the village. Uh, I have to look up some coordinates and uh, find my way back, because I have no way of knowing. Uh, so, <laughs> that'll be a pretty boring process, but I'll see you guys here in uh, just a little bit.